I want to go ahead and give the mic now to uh, Brett, and he's going to talk about a very new, awesome uh, tool that is in Cali right now. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Let's give uh, Brett a hand. Well, hey, my name is Brett Sandworth, and I'm going to talk about Gitrop today, if you know a bit about it. So, Gitrop is a command line tool. It's pretty much preloaded with Kali already. Um, Kali already has a Postgres as a little database on it, so you don't have to do much, you don't have to do much for it. it already since it's already installed. Um, so, GitHub's public API. Uh, use it, or sorry, GitRobs uses GitHub's public API to query GitHub organizations. So, what it does is it pulls searches from organizations in GitRob and pulls from GitHub repository that they use to it. So, it's, it's searching for certain flags in the public repositories. What GitRob is searching for is credentials, configuration files, secret keys, email addresses, API keys, and more. Um, I'll show you some findings that I had from it later, but what it does is its uses um, information security research. If you do information security, obviously, you pretty much do. Um, you'll type in your organization, you'll find out, oh crap, I have findings on the site. Um, it shows username, passwords, anything in there. Um, you should pretty much have this taken off immediately. A lot of the stuff is public facing, I mean, it is public facing if it's on there, and that's not very good to have, so you want to take care of that immediately. Furthermore, you can use it for a various purpose. Obviously, if you have all this information from secret keys to username and passwords, you could do major damage with that. Uh, let's say I have a secret key from Snapchat and I can decrypt all their communications, I, you could have another fapping on your hands. Um, you could do <laughs> I swear! <laughs> you could pretty much do anything with, one, with, with it, what you want. Um, the only disadvantage of it, Rob, is you have to manually come through the findings right now. So I've been through some that had 400 plus findings in them. You have to manually search through either each of them and see if anything's in them. A lot of them don't have findings, even if it says they do. Um, it will show, it just pulls in files. If it is a dump file or a log file, it shows that it will have a file in it, and, but it necessarily won't have it. So setting up setting it up in Kali is the easiest way to do it. You can do it in Linux distro, but Kali is pretty much the simplest way. Um, you just take it from the top. Uh, like I'll use a gym install monitor, and then a few Mac get installed. And then another gym install get robbed. So one thing you do have to do is sign up for GitHub um, when you do it, and through GitHub you, can, you have to access a personal token. Uh, all you do is generate a token, and it'll, it'll be one for you. And after you do that, you start Postgres SQL database, start that up, and uh, all you have to do is create a new user. Um, you want to be a super user. Uh, create a password after that. When you create a database and you manage the database for you want. Um, after that, you configure GitHub, Git Rob, sorry, and uh, all you have to do is put in the, the port that you're using, the database that's called, and username and password, and then you put, that's when you put in your personal access token. And from there, then you can query GitHub. Uh, you can query GitHub's repositories for the organizations that are in there. So what it does after that is it saves the findings to a Postgres SQL database and launches a local Sinatra web server to serve a web app to view the results. Um, it has a really intuitive interface. You can go through, look at any of them. Um, you can see the users that it's gone to. You can see uh, just pretty much everything right in front of you. And, but like I said, you have to manually come through it all. So it's not that easy to look through all the log sorting and looking at code just trying to find out the particular steps involved in that. So, here's what you have. I don't always pay for pen tests, but when I do, I get a free one from the internet. So that's exactly what this does, is um, when they mention Uber, that's what happened to Uber, too. The free pen test. And you can also get results like this. You get those badges that are lying around. I guess get up, get Rob does that. I mean, it's, it shows up anywhere. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> 
and get started in, uh, in the building. Okay, so this is what the findings look like. Um, I just have a screenshot from what I did earlier. So as you can see, Reddit's on here. Reddit has 143 findings. Yahoo has 385. Um, so you can see that's pulling from repositories. So Yahoo had 775 repositories for the rock that's pulling from and resulted in 385 findings. So a lot of these are not good. Um, some of the findings will have nothing in them, but a lot of them do. A lot of times, usernames and, and passwords in them. And uh, so, if you have findings, you'll pretty much want to go in there and fix those right away. So, my searches have pretty much consist of local Kansas City businesses and businesses that are in here right now. So, you might see your own stuff on here, and you should probably take care of that. Um, it's, it's not the best idea to have this on there. Oh, they so this is what it looks like for the members. You can, each, you can individually click on the individual members. Um, as you can see, Reddit, people have 60 findings in one, and then you can just intuitively sort through there. So now, I will show you it in action. So here I have Kyle running along with my password. What's your password? Oh, Dory. Alright. So I'll show you in action first. So once you get Git Rob set up, all you have to do is type in Git Rob dash o and then any organization. So you put anything here. Um, not everything will show up as um, of course you can guess from that. Uh, but you can do literally anything. So in this case, I'll do VML since they're a local company. Oh, I think they're local, but they're around the country. Um, so I'll just type that in, and I'll show you what it does. It just loads the configuration, and it prepares the SQL database, and it loads the file patterns, and then it collects the organization repositories. So now it's looking through the individual member repository right now, which there's 13 of. And you can see it's it's uh, loading usernames right here and finding out what's going on there. And it will just keep loading this. And while this, and now it will individually look through the user's files and see if they have anything in there that shouldn't be in there. Um, so I will minimize this. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I have a shot now. Oh. Okay. Alright, so I know we've got a lot of first time people here. Uh, we don't want to encourage uh, abuse of alcohol. However, uh, we don't want to, you know, give a talk about being properly loose either. So we have a small tradition here. If this is your first time speaking in Sec KC, then you have a drink. So. That smells delicious and looks plenty warm. Just to get excited as I go. Thank you. Let's uh, let's hear it for our first time speaker. Woo! I don't know. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first thing: Are there any members from Risk Analytics in here? Any? No? Okay. Well, you have 26 findings. Um, you'll have to look through, through these yourself because there's some stuff in here uh, which isn't that great. And I'll show you some that I actually have. Are there any members from Cerner? Oh, we got Cerner in here. Okay. Let's see what we have in here. Where is it? There it is. Let's see. Uh oh. 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 Not only that, they have in a Django settings. Let's see what they have in here. Luckily, they didn't have a username or password right here, so that's good. Because if they did, that wouldn't be good at all. But further you go down, the more that it shows. Where is it? Control F. 
Here's the secret key right here. And it says right here, make this unique, you know? I'm not sure of anybody. So, that curve is. So the, the clock starts now to see how fast. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get it fixed before the second yeah. seat? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, 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 close your close your repo right now. Uh, yeah. 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 Definitely close your repo. <laughs> Here's another secret token right here. Uh, um, see, it shows you. It Rob just shows you where it is right here. And I'll pop in a second. Oh, there's another one. Figuration secret token. Yeah. Not good at all. Let's see who else is in here. Any semantic users or people in here? I think they usually are, so we'll show up. Going to the setting UI. And this is a nice little one to get that one in. So what it shows, I didn't explain this earlier, but it says if it's a configuration file, get raw and automatically thinks something's wrong with it. So it says it might contain database credentials, online storage, secret credentials, and secret keys, etc. So not necessarily something will be on there, but just because it's a configuration file, it'll pull that out. So here we have a username, password, OS token, IDs. I mean, you name it. Anything's in here that you know. Um, I don't know, this is kind of made. Obviously, you can tell if you're using default credentials for their stuff, and you can try default credentials for anything else, because if they have that on there, who knows what else they're using. Um, and let's see if they have a server key right here. Don't think, yeah, there's no RSA private key. I mean, RSA private keys are all over this. They're, no one hides them for some reason. They're just everywhere. Um, so after, after VML runs, it opens up the Sinatra web server and it gives you port, or it gives you IP on 27.0.0.1 and it port 9393. So here's VML since that loaded. I'll show you what's in here. Um, Settings.py again. Uh, it should have a little stuff in it. So this shows a lot. So here's the secret key right here. Pretty good to have. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, I have to scroll by step because it's kind of messed up. Let's look at this one. So here's the secret key again. I mean, they're just throwing out their value regard for anything. Um, it's not good at all. And just use the password again. I mean, this is just this is just basic stuff that shouldn't be on here in the first place. Anything public facing, this is a terrible idea. It's going to get hacked in the next time, especially if it's not here. But it's HTTPS. It's fine. Okay, yeah, HTTPS is fine. We don't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is just terrible. Even NASA has 400 findings out of 171 repositories. They have a ton of stuff in here. Um, I found passwords for, I don't remember what, healthcare stuff, um, moon lander, healthcare fraud prevention. I mean, so much for that. It's, it's going to be fraud now because it's not here. Um, they had username, they had username and password in this one. Uh, let's see. So it shows the store. I mean, certificates are in here. Part of private key, it's right there. Um, username, password, form, partner ID. I mean, this is just ridiculous now. It's not. It needs to go away. But we'll see if they change it. And just, I mean, you can see just scrolling through here how many are in here. It's it's a lot. Was it in? I mean, I don't through this. I mean, that's what I said. There's no automation in this, so you can't go through. You can't just type in something and it'll pop up automatically. Well, you have to go through each one of these, like account confirmation validation. Uh, there's just so much information in here that you can steal from them that it's just quite ridiculous. Um, let's see. But yeah, like I said, GitRob's really easy to use. Uh, that's how you run it. Oh, my script's not working anymore. 
<laughs> but it will block anything. It pulls out, like I said, SQL files, uh, var files, anything in here that thinks has something on it, it will find. And if it does, it will show up publicly facing. And like I said, this is only for publicly facing. Oops. It's only for publicly facing GitHub, GitHub repository. So, like my company uses a private GitHub repository, so it's not going to show up on there. So that's probably the best idea to do, because you do not want to show them out here. Um, if you have stuff showing up on here, you need to get out of But yeah, this is GitHub pretty much, and you can use it however you want for your own uses, for nefarious uses. That's all it's used for. Garmin's on here. I tried to look for them right as we were talking about it, but luckily Garmin's nothing showed up in there. Um, let's see this. Spotify has a lot, LinkedIn has a lot. Twitter obviously has a ton. If you guys use Offy two-factor authentication, it's in your secret tokens in here. Yeah, which I use too, so it's not really <laughs> Um, what else? What's that? No finding. Um, yeah. But that's it. That's your report.